Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Now behind me on my bench, I've got five vices I'm gonna be looking at today, all of them under $50. Now granted, these aren't the only vices out there available for under $50, but if you are in the market for an introductory level vice and you do a search, well, a few of these are probably gonna come up. So I wanna talk about some of these for you today. Now, this is not gonna be a real in-depth review of any particular one of them, but I do wanna just go through some of the specs of each and the pros and cons of them. And then in the end, is it a vice that I would recommend and use myself? So the first one I wanna talk about is the good old Supreme. We've talked about this on the channel before. It's been around forever. I had one, it's at least 35 years ago. I got it in the 1980s, it's still coming in between 20 and $22. Now, some of the specs for it, it's a pretty solid vise. It comes in at 14 ounces, got a lot of steel on it. The post on it is steel. The jaws up here are steel. The C-clamp is aluminum, uh, but the screws right here are also steel. And the gap on the C-clamp is one and seven eighths inch. So it's a decent size clamp. So real quick on how this one works, well, Obviously, you've got the C-clamp right here. You've got this bolt right here that lets you adjust the height of the post and then the angle of it right there. Pretty easy to work, nice brass bolts right here. And then you do have one adjusting bolt right here that you can open and close this one if you want to change the cant of it right there. But basically, you have one bolt right here, you loosen that up and then you change this bolt right here. You know, you screw it back for um, a small screw and then you lock it in like that and then you got your hook in it you can open it if you want to put a bigger hook in it you open it up and then open the screw a little bit and then you lock it like that so it does a good job of holding hooks i've never really had a, an issue with them slipping on me if i if they ever do slip it's probably because i just didn't get it tight enough and it's not a rotary vice but it will rotate in there so you have this little bolt right here We'll tighten it lefty loosey righty tighty and then when you've loosened that you can spin it around right there if you want to take a look at the underside of your fly it's not a function that you would want to use for you know as a rotary to, to wind material on a hook but it is convenient if you want to just flip it over and then look at the underside of your fly or maybe turn it upside down and tie on the underside of it so overall, it's a pretty decent vise for the 20 or $22 it's gonna cost you. It does come with a couple of extra, you know, jaws, a big round one right here for, I guess, big saltwater hooks. And then another little flat one, probably for, you know, you can get hooks just a little bit smaller than the standard jaws here. So do I recommend this one for a new tire? Usually I do, it's, it will hold up pretty well. Now, one caveat, I've bought many of these over the years. I still have the original one I bought back in the 80s, but one that I bought last year, I ended up stripping this screw right here. And I don't know if that was operator error and me trying to set it up, but basically I kind of ruined the vise when I was just really trying to clamp that down and, and I stripped that screw. So that one's in a drawer not being used. So maybe that was just a lemon. And of the half a dozen or so I bought over the years, that was the only one that I had any issues with. Okay, now the next one I want to talk about, you might have seen this if you've done a search, it comes up on Amazon, it's called the YZD. Not sure what it stands for, but it looks a little bit, same function as the Supreme, it looks a little bit like an old standard double A. Uh, comes in at about $40. And this one is, it's also made of steel, several pieces are made of steel, the C-clamp is aluminum, C-clamp's one and seven eighths inch, I think that's the same as the, what the, Supreme was, but a couple of points to this one. Um, the stem is a little bit too thin for the C-clamp right here. So even when you've got it tightened as much as you can with your hands, there's still just a little bit of wobble in this, uh, the post and the clamp right there. And then this one, it operates just like the, the Supreme. You lift it up and that opens the jaws right there. And then you spin these nuts right here to get the you know the the gap you want before you lock it in but say you got your hook locked in right there then you have this one bolt right here this is the one that you should use to lock it to keep it from rotating right here and try as i might i just couldn't get this one to work well so you loosen this up or tighten it up and then you should be able to lock 
the position of this shaft inside this sleeve right here, but it would never lock on me. Now, maybe this is just a bad one I got right here, but you know, what does that say? The one that I ordered and wanted to review and try to tie with it, I can't even tie with it because this thing will not lock up on me. And I don't think it's operator error. I've operated plenty of these kind of vices over the years. This one, it's just poorly made. So for a $40 vice, I would really expect a little bit more. So my nutshell review on this one, one called the YZD that you might see available on Amazon. Now, I'm not going to recommend it. I certainly can't use this. I'm going to consider sending it back. Okay, the next one I want to talk about, this one is called the Terra Rotary Vice. This one's available a lot of places out there. I got this one from Cabela's. You can get it from the Bass Pro Shops. And I believe several fly shops out there carry it as well. So my first impressions on this thing, very solid. Comes in at one pound, 11 ounces. So it's a pretty heavy, good feeling vice. It does have uh, a bit of steel in it. Really just, well, okay. Mostly, I guess, aluminum and brass right here. The jaws are steel. Uh, and then aluminum for the C-clamp. But it does have a big C-clamp with a 2 and one eighth inch opening. And it's also got the bobbin cradle right here for using this as a rotary function. Now this is what I want to talk about. As um, a standard vise, it's got the, the jaws kind of set like a, a Griffin Spider, the Odyssey Spider. You've got the two bolts right here. You, you know, Loosen the, the back one till it opens pretty wide, and then you tweak the front one till it's just, just barely holding the hook, and then you lock the back one in, and it really secures the hook. It does a great job of holding the hook, and it feels pretty good. It clamps to the, the table really well, but there's one issue that I can't overcome with this vise. It's that, okay, when you want to use it as a rotary vise, you've got to loosen this big nut right here, now you should be able to just spin this around and use it as a rotary. But here's what happens in this particular one. If you only open this up just a little bit to where, it, you know, that's what the instructions say and that's what you should be able to do. It should free flow. You would be able to spin it around as much as you want. But it's not happening in this one case. So I spin it around and this one kind of naturally grabs that one and also starts spinning that until it locks up. And now my vise is seized up right here, not in a rotating, you know, position. So, all right, well, if I wanted to loosen that up, maybe I didn't loosen it up enough. So I loosen a little bit more and now it will freely rotate, right? Or loosen a little bit more. Now will it rotate? Well, maybe, but to get it to really rotate all the way around, I had to loosen this bolt quite a bit and then after about the third rotation, it's caused this bolt to spin a little bit more, and now it seizes back up on me. And, you know, I don't know how you can get over that. Maybe if you took it apart, you've got a couple of Allen wrenches right here where you can open it up and, and probably slide this out of the barrel. Maybe you could put an O-ring in there, but I did read some other reviews online that it was challenging, and a couple people made it work. But the bottom line for a $50 vise, you shouldn't have to monkey with it. You shouldn't have to take it apart and pack it with grease and put some O-rings in it just to get it to work. It should work out of the box. So as much as I wanted to recommend this vise, I can't in good faith recommend it. If you just wanted it as a standard vise that you're not going to use as a rotary, yeah, it's great. It's very solid. It doesn't move at all. It holds the hook really well. But if you want to use the rotary function, you just have to really loosen this up. And then, then you've introduced a lot of wobble. Um, and still, after about three rotations, you've caused this bolt to lock back up on you. And you're back to a standard non-rotating vise. So I was a little disappointed in the Terra rotary, but I do have two more I want to talk about. And I kind of like both of these. Now, the next one I want to talk about is this one by Max Catch. And I've done a thorough review of this one, so check that out on the channel if you are interested. But basically, it's a, a pretty lightweight, mostly aluminum vise. It comes in at 9.9 .9 ounces, big C-clamp, 2 and 3 eighths inch opening right here. Uh, fairly easy to use. How you use it here, you've got this big lever. You lift that up, and that opens the jaws. And now, if you want to change different size hooks, you can spin this right here to 
you know, allow you to put a bigger hook or, or a smaller hook. But once you get it to the right size, you just put your hook in there and then you close that lever. And then you have this bolt right here, which allows it to spin around right there. So it's not a true rotary. It is a rotating vise, but you lock that right there and now you're set. But if you want to flip it over to look at the underside of it, you just spin that around and, you know, now you're looking at the, the bottom side of the fly. This one does also come with a material clip and it comes with a foam tool caddy you can put on the clamp and then, or put on the, the post and then a little foam fly drying patch. So at $45 to $48, it's a solid vise and I really like it. In fact, it's the one that I have in my emergency bag in my truck. Now the last vise I wanna talk about, it's very similar to that Max Catch, but it's by River Runs also probably made overseas. It's got the exact same C-clamp on it, big opening, aluminum, nice big bolts, easy to use. It's got a nice big bolt right here, which you can open up to adjust your, you know, the angle you have it in the C-clamp and then adjust how high you want the post. And then it operates exactly the same way as a Max Catch does. Um, you lift it up and, and open your jaws, lock the, the hook in it. I've never had, you know, I've played around with this one for half an hour or so and it works pretty much exactly the same as the max catch i do like it a little bit better with some of the the nuts that lock it in but one thing i did notice this one's a little bit loud if i was using this one all the time i'd probably open it up put a little bit of grease in there still feels smooth don't get me wrong here it's got a nice smooth feel to it but you can just kind of hear that as you're rotating it. This one also comes with a spring material clip to put just right on there. And then two foam fly drying patches and the Allen wrench for adjusting this bolt right here. Oh, one other thing this one does have, it's a pretty nifty little embroidered bag right here. So it's kind of set up ideally for a travel vice. So overall, for $45, do I recommend this one? Yeah, I think I do. It's a pretty decent vise, very similar to the Max Catch, which I love and you know still use quite often. Okay, folks, so you all know that when I do a review of some equipment here, I like to give the products away. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do that for all five of these because two of these vices, I'm not gonna recommend. The YZD, I couldn't even use that vise, and then the Terra Rotary, I could use it, but only in the uh, stationary position, so I could not use it as a rotary. I'm even considering sending that one back to Cabela's. But I do have three that we can give out here today. The first one is the Supreme, and then the Max Catch, and then the River Runs. So if you're interested in winning one of these, just leave a comment. Anywhere in the comment, put hashtag Vice. Today is Sunday, January 30th. I will go to the random comment picker, let's say next Friday night, so we'll let this run for about five days. I'll go to the comment picker and I'll pick out three comments that use the hashtag vice. I'll get in touch with you through the comments and then I'll get these three vices mailed out to the three winners. So that's it everybody, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support, we'll see you in a few days.